become you are. In the last session, uh, I explained you about the concept of histogram uh, equalization. So, histogram equalization is also called as histogram normalization. So, histogram normalization is mainly used for enhancing the image. Okay, histogram equalization is automatic enhancement method. Uh, the uh, transformation function uh, will be calculated uh, automatically from the image characteristics from the image intensity value. So, uh, the histogram equalization technique is not uh, suitable for some of the applications. So, sometimes we need to enhance based on the other uh, reference image. So, in order to enhance the image based on the other image histogram, uh, we use the technique called histogram matching or histogram specification. So, in this class, we, I am going to explain the new concept for image enhancement. So, in this technique, we enhance the image uh, by considering the target image histogram. Okay? The topic is histogram matching. Histogram matching is also called as histogram specification. Histogram specification. So, here histogram enhancement, histogram specification, enhancement of enhancement of image, enhancement of image is done image is done by referring by referring by referring the target image histogram referring the target image histogram target image histogram so but in histogram equalization uh, the transformation function will be calculated from the image itself, but here the transformation is performed based on referring the target image. Okay. Now, consider an example, there is an image uh, which contains interior, interior of the uh, hall or room. So, uh, I need to improve the contrast of the image by referring the good uh, interior image. Okay. Similarly, uh, you have a building image to in order to enhance the building image, I will give you a reference image as a, a building image. So, my reference image should be a good contrast image, the reference image should be a good contrast image. So, based on the histogram of the target image, the input image will be enhanced, the input image will be enhanced. Okay? That is the uh, image matching technique. Okay? Here, you consider. Uh, this is my input image histogram. Okay, this R one one R one I can represent it as L minus L minus one R zero and this will be S yes and sorry this will be R and this will be uh, L minus. Okay, let us consider this is uh, the image uh, histo uh, input image histogram. Then now I will consider my target image histogram. This is my target image histogram. Okay. Here I will consider this input image histogram. Input image. input image histogram target image histogram target image histogram then after enhancing the image after enhancing the image based on the target histogram so uh, the in output will be output will be like this. So, this is the output image histogram, output image 
him is stored RAM. Output image histogram. So this uh, input image, uh, this is my reference Im image histogram. So this input image enhanced by referring the uh, target image histogram, then we get the output histogram. So here each pixel will be mapped to the target image histogram. Each pixel will be mapped into the target image histogram. So like that we can enhance the image by referring the other image. So here one of the important thing is when we enhancing the image through histogram matching here the contrast of the target image must be a good must be good and uh, the target image must be similar to the input image. Example you are enhancing the medical image your target image should be a medical image when you are enhancing the interior image. So your target image should be a, a interior image or you are enhancing the satellite image though your target image should be a satellite image or you are target you are uh, are you uh, you are enhancing the underwater image then your reference image or target image must be a underwater image if in case if there is a mismatch in the uh, in input image and the target image the output will be uh, a degraded image so you won't get the proper output image. So, when you are enhancing the in, uh, images by using histogram matching, the target image or reference image must be similar to the input image. Okay, let us consider, let us consider in the continuous representation. So, R is the input and S is the output, R is the input and S is the output. Then here I will consider PR of R. PR of R represent PDF, PDF means probability density function of the input image, then PZ of R or PZ of Z, PZ of Z is the target image or reference image, uh, is to, uh, reference image probability density function. So, PR is the probability density function for the R and PZ uh, represent the probability density function for uh, the target image, target image. Okay, then we can consider the R is uh, a input and Z is the output, R is input and Z is output. Okay, uh, let us consider the transformation uh, function for histogram matching in uh, the continuous representation and the uh, discrete representation, uh, discrete representation. Okay, here yes is the uh, random variable. So, yes is uh, calculated by using the transformation function, the transformation of R. The transformation of R represented by integral of 0 to R. So, 0 to R means 0 to 1, 0 to 1. So, 0 is the minimum gray level and 0 is the, 1 is the maximum gray level. So, 0 is black and 1 is white. So, here P R represent the probability density function for the gray level W. Here D W is the dummy variable. So, D W dummy variable the range is from 0 to 1. Okay. Next, similarly, the transformation function of uh, the matching is represented by uh, integral of 0 to z, integral of 0 to z that is p z of t dt is equal to s. Now, s is the uh, output of the map, output of the transformation. So, the range is from 0 to z. So, 0 to z the gray level, once again the gray level is 0 to 1, 0 to 1. Then here this condition has to be satisfied. Z bar of S is equal to Z inverse of T of R. Okay, T of R is the input and S is the output. So when you perform transformation, the transformation value must be the range 0 to L, 0 to 1 means S greater than R equal to 0, greater than equal to 0 less than less than or equal to 1. 
greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 1. So, after transformation, the gray level must be less than 0 to 1. The range is from, the ranges must be 0 to 1. Okay. Now, this is the discrete form, uh, sorry, the continuous form. This is the discrete form. So, here SK is the transformation output. Then T of RK, T is the transformation of RK is the gray level RK. Then this can be calculated by J0 to K. So, this uh, is equation similar to histogram equalization formula. This is histogram equalization formula. PR of RJ, PR is probability density function, probability density function of the gray level RJ. So, this can be calculated by using summation of j is equal to 0 to k nj minus nj divided by n. So, nj represent number of pixels, number of pixels in the gray level j and n is the total number of pixels in the image, total number of pixels in the image and number of pixels in the gray level nj. So, k is equal to 0 to l minus 1, k is equal, k is equal to 0 to l minus 1. Okay, this is for input. Then output is uh, the mapping. So, sk to vk, sk to vk is mapping that is z of zk, zk is the reference image. So, reference image value is i is equal to 0 to k, pz of z is equal to sk, pz of z is equal to sk. Now, k is equal to 0 to l minus 1 k is equal to 0 to l minus 1. So, here the gray level is from 0 to 255, 0 to 255. Next, this the final mapping is performed by z k is equal to z inverse of c s k z inverse of s k. So, here the condition should be matched. The condition is the gray level must be within the range of 0 to l minus 1. So, after the enhancement, the value should be, uh, the value must be the range within the range that is 0 to L minus 1. Okay. This is the uh, transformation function uh, of histogram matching. Okay. Uh, this is the graphical representation of histogram matching. So, here this is the input image histogram. The range is from 0 to 1 and 0 to L minus 1. Then here the input image histogram looks like this. Input image histogram look like this. Then this is the this is the target image histogram. Target image histogram. So from the target histogram, the input image is mapped, then this will be the final output image histogram. So here after enhancing the image, the after enhancing the image, the level, the gray level must be within the range. The gray level must be within the range. Okay. Here you can observe the mapping is in the reverse direction. The you can see the arrow is in the reverse direction. It's in the reverse direction. Okay. This is a graphical representation. Uh, this is a graphical representation of the histogram matching. So, now consider the algorithm for performing histogram matching. Uh, let us consider the algorithm. Let us consider the algorithm for uh, performing the histogram matching. Okay, uh, Let us consider the procedure for performing histogram matching performing histogram matching or histogram specification. So, I already uh, mentioned when performing histogram matching, we need two uh, things, two inputs. One is the input image histogram and the second one is the target image histogram. So, here first we need to obtain the histogram for the given image. So, first we need to find the histogram for the given input image. After finding, after extracting the histogram, now, we need to compute the SK. SK is equal to T of RK is equal to J is equal to 0 to K PR of RJ to, to pre-compute the mapped level SK. So, in order to uh, find the map, we need to pre-compute the SK value. 
Okay, this formula, uh, this equation is the histogram equalization formula. So here, PR of PR represents the probability density function, and RJ represents the gray level. So here, we compute the uh, we compute the probability density function. Next, after obtaining the uh, SK value from the input image, we need to find a VK value from the target image. We need to extract the VK value, means transformation value for is, uh, VK. VK is the uh, probability density, uh, the transformation fun function for target image. So, here PZ of Z. So, PZ of Z is probability density function for the target image. So, here VK is equal to Z inverse of T of RK. Then, pre-compute ZK for each value of SK using this. So, we find the difference that is ZK minus SK. So, what is Z, Z D bar of Z is D bar of Z is the uh, transformation function for the VK that is target histogram or uh, target histogram minus SK is the uh, SK value for the input. Then here the difference must be greater than the greater than the value 0, greater than 0. So, after computing the Z bar and uh, Z bar SK and VK, then for each pixel in the virginal image, if the value of that pixel is RK, RK, map this value to its corresponding level SK into ZK. So, here we ex get the value and check the uh, gray level of the intensity of that image, then that is mapped to ZK, that is mapped to ZK because ZK is the reference histogram, ZK is the reference histogram. Okay? This is the procedure for performing histogram matching. So, first we need to find the histogram for the input image, next we need to find the transformation function for the input, Im input image histogram that is SK, then we need to find as a VK that is the transformation function for ZK, ZK is the target image, then we, we compute the ZK value by performing G of Z bar of Z bar minus ESK and the value must be greater than 0. After that, we perform the pixel by pixel mapping from the computed value 2, 3 and 4. So, we use the computed value from step 2, step 3 and step 4 for mapping. So, each pixel value will be extracted and the mapping is performed. Okay? That is about the histogram matching or histogram specification. So, in the histogram matching, the image is enhanced by considering the target image histogram. So, the image, is specific, image uh, enhancement is performed based on the target image histogram. Okay, now, just now I explained the concept of image uh, histogram matching for image enhancement. Now, I will explain how the histogram of, uh, enhancement will be performed through MATLAB implementation. Uh, just now I explained the concept of image matching, uh, histogram matching or histogram specification. So, in the histogram specification, the image is enhanced based on the reference image, reference image histogram. So, here this is a code, uh, MATLAB code for performing histogram uh, matching or histogram specification. So, here we need to give two inputs, one is the input image and the second one is the target image. So, based on the target image histogram, uh, input image will be enhanced. So, here first I will read the image that is the input image. Okay, here I am selecting one uh, forest image that is there. Okay, that is the input image. Then uh, I need to give one more image that is a target image. So, first image has to be enhanced based on the uh, target image. So, I will give the second image as a target image. Okay, you can see here. Uh, 
uh, this is the input image then this is my target image so I need to enhance the input image like this so here uh, can see uh, the trees are clearly visible but in this uh, the contrast is less so trees are not clearly visible so here I am considering this image as my target image based on this image output I need to enhance the input image you see the output of the histogram specification you can easily find the difference between the first image and the second image so you can see here in the second image uh, the contrast is good so you can clearly identify the leaves and trees in the image okay then uh, I can see this is the input image histogram. So in the input image, the intensity is from 0 to uh, 160. Then after that, there is no intensity, there is no pixels in the higher level. But you can see in the output histogram, this is the output histogram. Okay, After the specification, the histogram is spread in the entire range. Okay, 0 to 255. So all the gray levels have a pixels all the gray level have a gray level intensity as a pixel okay this histogram matching our histogram specification so i'll consider one more uh, image okay i'll consider this uh, the input image then i need to enhance this image uh, based on the reference of once again i'll consider this image as my reference image Okay, you can see here. This histogram input input image. Okay, in the input input image there is more brightness, but you can see is after the enhancement, because here in the uh, reference image more is the more contribution is the darker fixed. So here after enhancing, in the output image is more. Uh, pixels are uh, enhanced so you can clearly identify the difference between the first image and the second image you can also find the difference in the histogram this is the input histogram image histogram this is the output image histogram okay in order to enhance the image uh, in, in order to perform histogram and matching or histogram specification here there is a built-in function in the MATLAB. The function name is I am just match. I am just match. So A is the input image and REF is the target image or reference image. So based on this reference of the uh, target image histogram, the image will be enhanced. The input image will be enhanced. Okay. This is about histogram specification. Okay. This is a MATLAB implementation. Okay, uh, the next topic is the local image enhancement, local image enhancement. Okay, just, we are disc just now we discussed the concept of histogram matching. Okay, now you consider this is the image, this is my uh, image. Okay, 0 to uh, W minus 1 and H minus one okay this is my input image this represent column and row so when we apply histogram equalization and histogram matching technique the techniques are the global techniques the techniques are global techniques because the enhancement is applied to entire the image entire image so it applied to uh, entire image okay sometimes sometimes uh, in some of the regions are negligible now you consider these areas are negligible these areas are negligible so uh, when you are enhancing the image this part also enhance this area is also enhanced but this is not necessary for some of the application this is not necessary for some of the application so instead of enhancing the image at the global level we need to enhance image at the local level local level means 
uh, the image is enhanced by considering a small region, small area. Okay. Now, we consider this image. Here, uh, small region will be considered. Small region will be considered. Now, now you consider this is the region. Okay, this is the region. The region size is the area size is five cross five. The area size is five cross five. Now, uh, histogram matching or histogram equalization is performed to this region. The histogram equalization is to perform this region by considering the center pixel. Okay, this is the center pixel x comma y this the center pixel x comma y next this pixel need to be enhanced by considering the neighboring pixel values so by considering the neighboring pixel value the center pixel will be enhanced after enhancing this pixel the window is moved to next location window is moved to next location in the next location the next pixel will be considered as the center pixel x comma y like that the window will be moved from one location to another location by enhancing one 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 pixel at a time one one pixel at a time so here it considers the contribution of the local neighbors or local neighboring pixel so here we select the neighboring size or mark window size or mark size usually half size of odd in the size is of odd. Okay, example, it may be the size of 3 cross 3, 5 cross 5, 7 cross 7, 9 cross 9 or 11 cross 11. So, when you are doing this, uh, the time complexity is high because it takes more time to enhance the image because one pixel enhanced by considering the neighboring pixel. So, in order to reduce the timing, we can, uh, we can perform non-overlapping concept. Okay, here the window is overlapped okay first this region next this region next one more region next one more region next one more region like that the window is overlapping the window is overlapping in non overlapping window first 5 cross 5 region will be enhanced first 5 cross 5 region will be enhanced after enhancing this pixel, the window is moved to next fifth, next five location. Next five location, then next five location. Okay, this is non-overlapping window. Non-overlapping window. Okay, here we can reduce the time complexity. But here, this is more efficient, but time consumption is more. So. In local image enhancement, instead of enhancing the image at the global level, your image will be enhanced at the local level. So, the small area will be considered, the small area is considered as window, the small window is considered, then the image is enhanced by considering the local pixel values or neighboring pixel values. So, the enhancement is done at the overlapping window or non overlapping basis. So, overlapping basis are non overlapping basis. So, here one pixel will be enhanced by considering the neighboring pixel. So, center pixel will be considered as x comma y the center pixel will be enhanced by considering the neighboring pixel okay? that is about local image enhancement. Okay? Now, next topic is histogram statistics use of histogram statistics and image enhancement. So, now we use histogram for image enhancement. So, we use histogram for equalization and we also use histogram for uh, specification and we also use histogram for local image enhancement. So, instead of using uh, histogram directly to do image enhancement, we use a histogram statistics for, for the image enhancement. Means statistics means characteristics of the histogram, use the uh, statistics of the histogram for the image enhancement. So, we use that value for further process. Okay, uh, In the uh, first class itself, I explained the use of histogram. So, by seeing the histogram, we can identify whether the image is a low contrast image or high contrast image. So, that can be extracted uh, in terms of values. We can extract the term in terms of values. Example, one of the pro uh, statistics is the entropy. Entropy is the statistics. From the entropy, we can uh, check whether the image is good or bad, whether the contrast of the image is good or 
uh, poor. Okay, if in case the entropy value is four more than seven, then the contrast of the image is good. If the entropy value is less than seven, then the contrast of the image is very poor. So, by seeing that, we can decide whether we need to do enhancement or not. Okay, uh, here uh, we use uh, uh, the moment of the image. moment of the image is the one of the uh, histogram statistics. So, here the moment is be calculated from the range L minus 0 to L minus 1. So, this is the gray level range. The moment will be calculated mu n, mu n is equal to summation of i is equal to 0 to uh, L minus 1, i is equal to L minus 1, then uh, i minus mu to the power of n mu to the power of n mu to the power of n into p of r i p of r i. So, here r i is the gray level then m is the mean m is equal to m is equal to mean then here P r is the P d r, P r is the P d r probability density function or probability distribution function of the gray level uh, in, uh, at the input image. So, here sum of summation of this value is the uh, nth order moment. If you want to calculate this uh, for second order moment, just we can write uh, mu 2 is equal to summation of L minus 1 i is equal to 0 to R i minus m to the power of 2 to the power of 2 into P of R i into P r of P of R i. Okay. This is called second order movement. This second order movement is also called as variance. Second order movement is also called variance. So, the mean is calculated m can be calculated by m is equal to summation of i is equal to 0 to L minus 1 r i into p of r i. So, r i is the gray level and p r i is the probability density function, probability density function. So, uh, this is also calculated for entire image, this is also calculated for entire image. Okay, these uh, properties are at the global level. Sometimes we can, uh, uh, we need to extract at the local level. So we can also extract at the region level. Means we can extract the moment variance for the small region. Small region. Okay, that is can be represented by. Now, here I am calculating the mean and the variance or second order moment for the region S of x comma y. Here I am calculating the variance and the mean for the region S of x comma y. Okay, this is a small region. Uh, here the region size may be uh, 3 cross 3, 5 cross 5, 9 cross 9, 7 cross 7. So, here mean of mean of the region is x comma y is equal to summation of S comma t belongs to S of x comma y that is R of S t into P R of S comma t. So, here R S t represent the gray level value within the region of S of x comma y and probably density function for S of R comma y R R S t. So, similarly, the standard deviation that can be represented by mu square that is second order moment is equal to summation of r comma s t minus mu. So, here we calculate the mu, calculate the mu here r comma s t minus mean of the region s comma y into the, the power of 2 into p of r s t. Okay. This is a probability density function for the gray level intensity value within the region s comma t. Okay. Like that, uh, same, uh, we can also calculate other histogram property for the local region. Okay. Here we use these values, use the statistics for 
further image enhancement either for filtering or for enhancement or for uh, averaging like that we can use this property for further process okay uh, the image enhancement can also be performed by using arithmetic and logical operation so arithmetic and logical operations performed by pixel by pixel means the first pixel of the first image is uh, added with the first pixel of the second image that is the image addition similarly in image subtraction the first pixel of the first, first image will be subtracted by the first pixel of the second image like that uh, we can perform addition subtraction multiplication and the division so uh, mainly these two functions are two operations are mainly used in image processing okay that is addition and the subtraction addition operation is used for merging the images are these operations are mainly used use for highlighting the particular region okay we can also uh, use the addition and subtraction operation for the uh, filtering operation okay here the addition operation is represented by g of x comma y is equal to f of x comma y minus h of x comma plus h of x comma y so this is image 1 and image 2 in general we use this term for the field uh, noise so this in, uh, input image and h is called the noise so when you performing the addition operation the gray level value may um, uh, the gray level value is exceeds the gray level range 255 when the value exceeds 255 range then the result value that is r value multiplied with 255 and divided by 2 there is one operation you can perform that is r into 255 divided by 2 sometimes they you uh, we use r into 255 divided by max r into divided by 255 max otherwise we can round off the above 255 value into 0 okay when you performing subtraction operation the subtraction operation is represented by g of x comma y is equal to f of x comma y minus h of x comma y so here the value will be value sometimes the value less than 0 less than 0 when the value moves to less than 0 then we can round off into 0 similarly and operation and r operation used for masking so and uh, logical and and logical r are mainly used for masking logical not is the complement that is it generate the negative image okay like that we can use uh, the arithmetic and logical operations for the image enhancement Uh, just now explain the concept of uh, image enhancement using arithmetic and operations and logical operations so now i'll explain i'll demonstrate how arithmetic and logical operations can be performed on image uh, just now explain uh, the concept of arithmetic and logical operation on image images so when we perform addition or subtraction operation uh, the value go behind 0 and 255 okay and when you perform subtraction operation the value the resultant value may less than 0 when it is less than 0 then we need to round off to 0 in the addition the addition value is uh, above 255 so if the value is above 255 next we need to round off into 255 because the gray level value in the gray level image we can represent only 0 to 255 so there are different ways to round up the value one way is if the value of the addition of image greater than 255 then we can round up to 255 otherwise we can divide the value by 255 there is one more way is uh, add the resultant uh, multiply the resultant value with 255 and divide by max gray level value so there also we can map the intensity value but in this example in this program i have mapped into 255 you can see here i am reading two images image 1 and image 2 both images are of grayscale image then here this is the logic for finding addition of the two images so for i is equal to 1 to row number of rows j to number of columns 
value is equal to k of i comma j plus b of i comma j. So i comma j are the index of the image A and i comma j is the index of B. So here in the matrix addition, first pixel add with uh, first element add with first element, second element add with second element. Similarly, in the image, first pixel add with the first pixel of the second image, second pixel of the first image is add with the second pixel of the second image, okay, which is performed pixel by pixel addition. So after adding the two image intensity value or pixel value, we check the result, whether the result is greater than 255. If it is greater than 255, then the value is round up to 255. If in case if the value is less than 255, if the value is less than 255, directly the value will be assigned to output i comma j. Now you can see the output. Okay, here I am reading two images. Then the second image. The second image is the car image. Now we can see. Okay, this is the image one. So image one, there is no car object. The second image, the background is black and the car. Okay, after adding the image, the image contains both the thing, one background and the car. Okay, uh, this is uh, uh, addition is mainly used for combining, combining two images. Addition operations used for combining two images. Okay, one operation, then. The similarly, the second operation is the subtraction. In the subtraction, here we perform the value is equal to a of i comma j minus b of i comma j. When we do subtraction, the value may be less than zero. The value may be less than zero. Example, the pixel value of a image is 250 and this value is 100, then the resultant is, uh, the, sorry, if the value of a is 50 and value of b is 100, 50 minus 100, that is minus 50. So in the grayscale image, we cannot represent negative value. So we need to round up that value into zero. So here I am checking the value of, uh, value of the subtraction. If the value is less than zero, then round up to zero. Otherwise, the output value is assigned as the subtracted value. Okay, now we are seeing image 1 and there is a building and image 2 there is one star okay now you can see here after subtracting this pixel value here some part of the first image is present in the second image okay that's why input image 1 input image 2 the star and output image so this output image you can see here inside the star some part of the building is present okay this is image subtraction operation similarly uh, we can also perform logical operation that is and r you can say here uh, r operation input image 1 input image 2 <coughs> okay here you can see all this operation addition a plus c b plus c so here one more resultant image is generated from the generated image a plus c b plus c and a plus b you can see the output of a plus b we already i already shown in the addition operation then similarly multiplication we can also perform division operation okay this is the one uh, there is one more operation that is 
the AND operation and OR operation. It is an example of a AND operation and OR operation. So, uh, this may be used for performing an S prime operation. Okay. This is arithmetic and logical operations are immediate. 